Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. It is another beautiful fall day outside. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about rain spells. Rain spells were among the first spells that I attempted and it was successful. And I would like to tell you guys how I did it, what I did, what happened, and stuff like that. So, years ago, I attempted to start a spell book. And I didn't get very far with a spell book. I wrote a few spells in there that I hadn't even tried yet. I just thought about them. I'm like, oh, this would be good, and write them down. Didn't even test them to see if they, they were accurate. There's even some curses in there that are, are probably useless. But, you know, it was just a notebook for me to jot down my ideas and, for spells and such. Well, one of the spells that I wrote down in there was Rain Spell. And I remember one night I was writing down the spell. And I was rereading it over and over in my head just so that I could, you know, get a feel for it. So I could say it accurately. And so I looked outside. It was a clear night. And uh, there wasn't any rain. There was barely any wind. So I wanted to give it a try. Didn't even think it would work. So I started saying the spell and in one of the articles i read at the time it said to say a spell three times so i said it three separate times while trying to feel in my heart the energies of trying to conjure the rain shortly thereafter i heard a big crack of thunder and a lightning flash happened and all of a sudden it started pouring rain it, it happened, like, maybe like 10 minutes after I said it. Which impressed me. Because it was a new spell that I had created. I didn't even think it would work. Um, how exactly did I create it? I have not used the spell in a while because it entailed two gods that I've changed since then. Um, so for those of you who don't know that, um, a while back, I actually started with my own pantheon of gods before I started praying to gods that already exist. And there were two separate gods that I put in the spell, one of the sky and one of water. And I invoked them for the spell to work and it did work. However, I have since, uh, I don't use them anymore. Mostly because um, during the COVID pandemic, I, I redid a lot of the gods that I had made. So those two do not exist at this point. I might redraw them in a different way. I've already redrawn one. But the other one, the God of the Sky, I am going to redo him uh, in a similar way. But since I'm no longer invoking those, I would have to redo the whole spell. But another reason why I have not invoked a rain spell for so long is because of what I learned since that time. And that was like nine years ago. So... I learned from the many, many books that I have read that in order for a rain spell to work, you have to take rain from another spot. Because, you know, water is in the atmosphere everywhere, but there's certain places where it builds up. And then, of course, that's when dark clouds happen. They get heavy and it rains. You have to be specific with the place you're getting it from because you do not want to take away from spots that really need that rain desperately. And unfortunately, that is not something I did at the time. I didn't even know about that when I cast the rain spell. So I could have been taking it from anywhere. And um, like California's had a lot of wildfires you wouldn't want to take from them. 
uh, Egypt gets very little rain, so the they do depend on what little rain does fall for uh, certain crops to grow there and so on. You know, um, places that are usually dry and hum like a, a dry humidity and, you know, they're very hot. They usually depend on the rain more so than uh, places that rain a lot. Now, places that would be good to get the rain. Um, Washington. Seattle, I hear, is the uh, lightning capital of the world. Uh, the uh, Space Needle gets struck hundreds of times throughout the year. So there's obviously a lot of rain there. Um, Portland, Oregon, or just Oregon in general, gets a lot of precipitation. And I believe that's because of all of the, uh, they have a huge amount of forests. And forests, I did not know, actually have to do with rain. Water evaporates from the trees, puts it in the atmosphere, and that's what helps create rain. Which explains why Egypt does not have a lot of rain, because they have very few trees. And in fact, the trees they do have, palm trees, they're not even considered trees, they are grass. That is another thing I learned. But... You want to take, you want to be specific. Maybe look on the weather channel or the weather app. Let's go high tech on this. Look for places that have a lot of rain that may not need it. Like Florida recently had that horrible hurricane. Maybe try and take from that because who knows how much more rain is coming. They're right next to the ocean. So <clears throat> rain is definitely going to happen there a lot. So you want to take from places that already have a lot of rain that aren't really going through something right now. And that is not something I did when I first did the spell. So I could have been taking it away from a place that desperately needed the rain. Um, and when you, you can write the spell however you want. Uh, as long as it invokes the feelings you are trying to conjure. The rain. And in the spell, there are a few things you're going to want to go over. Like, what is your intention? I wish to conjure the rain. Bring forth the storm. Um, you're going to want to obviously be specific about the place where you're getting it from. Because you want to be courteous. It, it would actually be pretty selfish to just take it from anywhere. And... Um, whenever you do a spell, it's always good to do it at least a minimum of three times because three is a magic number. Three actually generates a good amount of power for a spell. You can say it as many times as you want, but the minimum is three. I usually will try to say a spell nine times because nine is my favorite number. I do not know why. But it is, it's always been my favorite number. And nine is a product of three. You can say a spell any times the number of three. So three, six, nine, twelve, what have you. Obviously, there aren't going to be people who are going to do more than that. Unless you're very dedicated. Which, you know what? I admire that. But I have never said a spell more than nine times. <laughs> and it isn't very often that I do it. I will try to... But three is the minimum. Unless it's like a really important spell that I really need to happen. Like if we're going, like if we were doing the spell and where I live was going through a massive heat wave and everyone's like, oh, we need a relief from this heat. Then that is a reason why I would conjure the rain. I mean, I suppose if you had a lot of not too hot days like this one, I mean, it's fall. So it's a little cool out here, but it's also sunny. If you wanted a nice little rainy day, you know, just to relax or such. As long as you're not taking it away from a place that actually needs the rain, I don't see a problem with it. I mean, practitioners of magic have this power. They have the knowledge to back this power up. They may use it as they please, free will. Just, it would be good advice to say... You know, don't be selfish with it. Don't abuse it. Don't take it from those who need it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I wish you the best of days.